I'm Ed Ellis, former owner of Ellis Incorporated, Ellis the Rim Man, who owned this building to 2001 until we closed up. At that time, we were probably one of the largest auto parts and accessory companies in the area. This is now a charter school, the Match High School. Looks different, missing all the rims and wheels that we used to have on display. Now I see it filled with students, all working and studying. My dad founded Ellis the Rib Man at the ripe old age of 17. He liked display. He had a very nice looking showroom, and I could read off a few of the things he sold in a New England auto directory going back to 1930. Door pulls and handles, EA horns, jazz bird horns. This is something I never heard of before. Tire and rim racks, Woodworth tire spreaders. There was all kinds of accessories for the car. So many of the accessory type items that we sold over the years uh, disappeared because most everything for the automobile was now built in from seat belts to outside mirrors, floor mats, radios, air conditioning, this stuff all disappeared. But we had sold all those things when they weren't on the car, so that's yeah, what happens. It's evolution. We see the beautiful staircase that has been redone since the days when we uh, used it as a means of getting merchandise down from the upper floors. You see these huge columns are all along the ceiling, the molding with all the intricate work. This is something that the school really did a terrific job in preserving the way this building was built. And I'm looking for our old familiar sign. It was a three-cornered roof sign, which actually started 25 feet off the roof and then went up for another 40 feet. Seen from a good part of Boston, uh, and became a real landmark. It appears to have been replaced completely by a flagpole. People wanted to save the sign. I think they got about three votes for it, so it did come down. Uh, and I guess not too many people miss it. I do, that's for sure.